with everything set now, the gun crew moves back to take positions and slip trenches during firing. This is the apex of destructive power for a single artillery piece. The United States 280mm Howitzer Atomic Annie was first tested at the Nevada test site on May the 25th, 1953. It fired a 365 kilogram fission warhead 10,000 meters and it detonated 160 meters above the ground. The yield, 15 kilotons. The Soviet Union also had a stockpile of nuclear artillery shells of a greater yield. Both sides have since decommissioned these tactical weapon systems. Artillery has a long and diverse lineage going back through time to the dawn of gunpowder. January the 28th, 1132. Song Dynasty General Hang Shizong used bamboo cannon to capture the city of Fujian and qualified to be the first recorded user of artillery cannon in battle. The effectiveness of gunpowder and cannon was so great that its technology expanded rapidly throughout Asia and 13th century Europe. Instead of bamboo, lead or cast iron was used. They fired lead shot, iron or stone balls, or sometimes arrows or scrap metal. The earliest of bombards, however, were defensive. Defensive siege cannon were immobile and fixed in their emplacements. These were massive smooth bore weapons constructed from metal rods bound together with hoops like a wine barrel, giving their name to the gun barrel. The cannon rapidly became the armament of choice on land and sea. Naval power was often determined by the number of cannon that could be brought to bear in a broadside assault. There are three main types of cannon or artillery pieces. The mortar is a muzzle-loading device that fires projectiles or rounds on an angle greater than 45 degrees. This enables them to strike targets at higher altitudes or above the firing emplacement and at extreme angles. Second is the howitzer, from the German word Haufen, or heap, which usually describes a short-barreled artillery piece on wheels that can fire projectiles at angles greater than a cannon and less than a mortar. The howitzer is the most common form of artillery piece today. And third, the field gun or cannon. It normally has a longer barrel than a howitzer and a lower angle of projection, usually line of sight. The larger types were often fixed in emplacements to guard coastlines or strategic points. They can also be self-propelled, often resembling a tank, but utilized in a completely different way.